need a rice cooker, and that's what we're drawing today. First of all, we need a square, and then the base. Two handles on the sides. Two pedestals. And a smiley face. Don't forget two little chicks and two round little eyes. Now, this is the lid of the rice cooker and the handles for the lid so you don't get burned when you try to open it. Okay, that's our rice cooker. Now, let's do all that again. I'll add a heart as a decoration on the side. And now it's coloring time! First of all, I will use a small brush and get some yellow color for the lid. You might ask why I need a small brush. Because it's a small area and we don't want to get the color Next. I will use a bigger brush to get some blue color for the base. The handles on the sides are also blue. Now, let's color the heart with red color. And some pink color for the chicks. How about some more pink for the pedestal? Cute! Now, I will use the marker to add some more details onto the handle to make it thicker so it doesn't get really hot. And then, I'm going to make a new color. I will put some red color in the tray and mix it with a little bit of yellow color now I have orange. Let's color the handle with orange color. Mixing color is fun. Now let's mix yellow and blue. We have green. And green is the main color of the rice cooker. Let's put some green on the body of the rice cooker. You might need a small brush because we have so many details on the body of the rice cooker. Now it's glitter time! First of all, we need some glue. I'll put some glue on the heart. Also the handles and the pedestal. The base too.
and as well as the lid. Now let's get our glitter. First of all, pink glitter for the pedestal. Red glitter for the heart. Yellow glitter for the lid. Blue glitter for the base. And the handles on the sides are also blue. Ta-da! That's our beautiful and colorful rice cooker. I'm sure we can make some good rice in this. I had so much fun. See healthy vegetable. Now let's begin. First, we need a big letter U and then the arms and the legs the other arm look he's holding a hairbrush now let's start with his hair and his face i bet he has a lot of hair now these are his eyes and a big smile and now look at his hair see i told you he has a lot of hair his hair is short but very thick I will put a bow tie here and now let's do all this again And my friend, it's coloring time! Let's get started with yellow for his hair. You can use a big brush because we don't have a lot of details here. Now, I will mix the yellow color and the blue color to make green color, and that is for the body. Okay, let's do it. But remember, you might need a smaller brush because we have some details here. Don't forget the arms and the legs, okay? Now, let's get some red color for the hairbrush. And finally, the pink color for the bow tie. How cute! still have a lot of pink color so let's use that for the background we can use a big brush for that to save time For a change, we can use blue color for the other half of the background.
so cute. Now it's glittering time. Let's get some glue on her hair, shall we? Put some yellow glitter for the hair. This is the most beautiful hair I have ever seen. Now, some glue for the green color. And that is the arms and the legs. Okay, now where's my green glitter? Here it is. Let's do it. Oh, our broccoli friend is so gorgeous. So remember to eat enough green, okay? It's very healthy. I hope to see you again next time. Today I will show you how to draw a set of jewelry and a bottle of perfume so we can go to a party. I'll start with a heart for the necklace and some circles for decoration. Next thing is the bottle of perfume. And this is the lid, it looks like a diamond then the neck, and then the bottle. I will add a star in the middle of the bottle for decoration, and some more at the bottom, and the cover. Now let's move on to a ring. This ring has a pearl on top of it, some sparkles around, and now let's draw an earring. It's also made from pro, and don't forget to add some decoration on it. Okay, all done. Now let's do all that again. So that's the set of jewelry including a necklace, the ring and the earring, and also a bottle of perfume. Now is coloring time. I will use red color as the first color for the heart of the necklace. Some more red color for the decoration of the lid of the perfume. Now some yellow color for the circles of the necklace under the heart. Let's use a small brush for this. Also some more yellow color for the decoration under the pearl and the ring. That's our golden ring. And also use yellow color for the earring and the decorations of the earring. And while I'm using the yellow color, I will use that for the sparkles as well. Now I will use some blue color for the flower on the earring. And shall we use more blue for a diamond? I think that's a great idea. For details like this, we should use a small brush. Okay, that's the diamond. Now let's move on to the next part. I will mix some color. I will use some red color to mix well with the blue color. And we have purple. And I will use this for the pearl. A purple pearl. I also want to use some purple for some of the triangles on the bottle. And now, some pink for the pearl of the earring
And guess what? The star is also pink. That's so cute, right? Now I will use blue color again to color all the triangles we have. Blue triangles and purple triangles look very good together. Okay, that's all the color we need. Now it's glitter time. I will apply some glue on the necklace. And then I will apply some silver glitter on it. I will also use the silver glitter for the cover of the bottle of perfume. All the part that are left white. some glue on the pearl and then I will use some purple glitter on it next I will apply some glue on the heart and some glue on the earring as well and then some pink glitter on the earring and red glitter on the heart Now let's use some diamond to decorate the bottle of perfume and to also decorate the necklace and the earring. How about some red diamond for the top of the perfume? So beautiful! And a big green diamond in the middle of the star. And now I will apply some cool under the big pearl of the ring. Then stick some yellow pearls around it. Put some glue on the blue flower of the earring and then stick some blue pearls on it and more diamond on the lid of the perfume. And that's our set of jewelry and the bottle of perfume. It looks so beautiful and colorful, right? I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye. Hey, my friends, do you know vegetables are very good for our health? Today, I will show you how to draw a carrot and a kohlrabi, which are both very healthy. Now, let's start with a carrot. A carrot looks similar to a triangle, but longer, with some leaves on top, like this. Look, the carrot is smiling. And maybe dancing. Vegetables like carrots are good for your eyes. Now let's move on with the kohlrabi. It's not long like the carrot. It's more like round. But it also has some leaves on top. Just like the carrot. And the kohlrabi is just as happy as her carrot friend. They both want to help to keep you healthy. Now, let's do all that again. All done! Now, is it coloring time? Oh yes, it is! You have your colors ready? Start with yellow. And that's for the decorations on the carrot's body. The next color is green. And green is for the leaves. The leaf of the carrot is green. And the leaves of the kohlrabis are also green.
Now, I will use some yellow color for the petiole of the carrot leaves. Hmm. Shall we mix some color now? Let's get some yellow and mix it with a little bit of red color. What color do we have? Oh, orange. Yellow and red is orange. Do you know what color is this for? Yes, the carrot. Carrots are orange. Now let's put some orange on the carrot. And remember, don't use the brush that is too big because we have some details on the carrot. Mixing color is fun. Now let's mix some new color. I will mix red color with a little bit of blue color. And we have purple. Now let's put some purple on our kohlrabi. My friends, that's all the colors we need, which means is cluttering time. Let's put some glue on the kohlrabi first. And then apply some purple glitter onto it. Oh cool, how cute! Next, I will get some glue on the carrot, but only on the orange color. Try to avoid the yellow color. Now, I will get some orange glitter and let's put it on. Ta-da! That's our carrot and kohlrabi. Remember, they are very healthy for your health. Let's try. Huh, so cool. Now let's bring them to the kitchen to cook some meal. I hope you enjoy the carrot and the kohlrabi. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Friends, today I will show you how to draw a set of utensils decorated with pepper pigs. First of all, we need to draw the daddy pig with a pair of glasses and smiley face, the chick and two ears. With the handle first and then the spoon. Now, next is Mama Pig and is a little bit smaller. Mama Pig have eyes with beautiful eyelashes. Don't forget the smiley face. And next is the handle and then the fork. Now, the last thing is the Peppa Pig and is the smallest one. But it is very cute. Under it is a handle and a teaspoon. Now, let's do all that again. Okay, it's now coloring time. First color I will use is blue. That's for the handle of the daddy pig. Hey! 
next color is orange and is from yellow and red and with this orange color I will use it for the handle of mama pig now the last handle of the pepper pig is red and we have three handles with three different colors so colorful right now let's mix pink and white to have a lighter pink i will put this new color on the pig's family start with the daddy pig Oh, and remember to use a small brush because all the details are very small. Now, some more light pink on the mama pig. And again, be careful. The last one to color is the pepper pig and this time you have to be extra super careful because that's the smallest pig and now let's get back with the normal pink for the chick and finally it's glitter time just my favorite part first of all I will apply some glue on the handles first all three handles Red glitter for the red color Orange glitter for the orange color And blue glitter for blue color Oh wow, beautiful! Now let's see some magic! Ooh! Ta-da! Now I have the real set of pencil with pepper pig decoration! I hope you have a lot of fun with your meals now. I had so much fun. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>
that's for the face of the butterfly. If you don't have the skin color, you can mix the yellow color with a little bit of red color. Very easy. So for this part, we need a very small brush because we have the eyes and the mouth and the hair and you don't want to put the skin color on them. I will also put the skin color on the hands of the butterfly. And the same color for the legs as well. Now I will use a bigger brush and use the blue color for a part of the wings. Here. Now let's mix some color. I'll get some yellow color first and then I'll mix it with a little bit of blue color and I have green color. I will put this green color to a part of the wings right next to the blue color. already very colorful now. Mixing color is fun. Let's mix some more. I will get some red color and mix it with some blue color. And I have purple. Now this purple color is for the last part of the big wings right next to the green color. If the big brush is too hard for you to color, we can get the smaller one. As long as you feel comfortable and easy for you. some yellow color and some red color. Now I have orange color. And that is for the small wings, the part next to the yellow color. We mix a lot of colors today, right? Because these butterflies are so colorful. And now let's get the pink color out. And do you know what is pink? It's the dress of the butterfly. If you don't have pink, you can always mix the red color with the white color and we have pink. And now I will use green color again for the last part of the small wings on the left. And the same part but on the right, I will use some purple color. Last thing is the flower. I want it to be blue. And maybe pink color for the inside. Oh, look, that's so beautiful. Now it's glittering time to make the butterfly more shiny. We definitely need some glue on the wings and on the dress. Be careful though, we don't want to make a mess. Now, purple glitter or purple color on the wings. And green glitter for the green color of the wings. And 
pink glitter for the dress. <laughs> now, I will use some blue color for the background. It's going to be a lot of blue color, so be patient. You can use a bigger brush to save time. Okay, almost there. And now, this is our colorful butterfly. She's so cute, right? I had so much fun today. I hope to see you again.